Hey guys, let me know when you can see me. I see Karen joining and Sammy joining, but I don't see any video of you guys. Hello, just a minute. Let me figure it out. <laughs> hey Karen, how are you? Good. Thanks for doing Hey, Karen. Oh, it's so good to see your face. <laughs> Hi. Let's see if we can this with video. Oh, there's Jacqueline. This is the first Zoom I've done, like, for the Y. So I'm excited. I did a church meeting this way, but I'm always, like, have to figure out which buttons to touch and turn on and all that. Yeah, I know. It depends on whether you're joining with your computer or with your phone or, you know, that type of stuff. I haven't done it on the phone. I'll have to try that. I haven't done it on the phone because I like to see everybody's faces. So when I do it on a computer, then um, some people I don't know, I can't see names as well. So I will just say hi. <laughs> oh, we have another Amy on here. <laughs> Marty, are you, are you Amy too? You're muted, Marty. Yeah, I don't know why Amy's name is by my picture. That's okay, it's probably because we keep signing into Amy's account. Gotcha. And I think it, it just automatically, probably the last one that you used, <laughs> signed you in. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes here. Um, and then we'll get started. I had somebody just message me saying they can't find it um, on the website for some reason. And okay. It was posted a few days ago, right? Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get started even though I'm sure people might be hopping on. And, and if you guys can hear me just say, um, I have to kind of step a little bit far away from my, um, my laptop and that light is kind of annoying, isn't it? Oh, I turned the wrong one on, sorry. <laughs> Um, awesome. Hey, Jay, thanks for jumping on. So um, I'm going to just kind of talk a little bit about core stability and core strength and why it's important. Um, and then we'll open it up for some Q&A if you guys have any questions that I can um, try to answer. If I can't find the answer, what I'll do is I'll find it and then I can post it under the event um, that was on the YMC. Okay. I don't know what I, I don't know everything. So if you guys stop me. I will find the answer for you. But when I talk about core stability, and that's one of the things that I focus on as a trainer at the YMCA. And really quickly, if you don't know me, if you're not a member of the YMCA and you're joining from somewhere else that I shared this link, my name is Heather Sutton. I'm an ACE certified personal trainer. I'm also a certified Pilates reformer instructor. And I work at the uh, South Lake YMCA here in Crown Point, Indiana. Um, so one of the things that I really like to focus on with all of my clients is core stability. And what I'm talking about when I say core stability, um, I'm not really talking about getting a six pack abs. <laughs> That's a whole nother subject that has to do more with diet um, and what you're putting in your mouth and what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the deep inner core muscles that really stabilize our spine. And if you think about our spine as it twists, we can 
uh, we can twist this way. We rotate like this, right? We can go back and we can go forward. And what we want is we want to get those deep inner muscles um, really stable to support that spine. That will help with preventing injury in your daily activities, just your basic picking stuff up, uh, roll, getting in and out of bed. If you have any kind of back problems, um, chances are you probably have some weak um, core muscles. We're talking about the pelvic floor muscles. We're talking about the transverse abdominus muscles. Um, so oblique muscles, <clears throat> you know, some of those muscles that we don't necessarily think about. Um, and I do apologize right now if you see animals coming running up to me. I have a house full of them, so they might join in the video a little bit. Um, so those are kind of what we want to focus on today. This is going to be a very basic introduction to core stability because if you don't start with the foundations and you just try to jump into some of the more advanced stuffs, you're not going to get it down and you're going to end up injuring yourself in the long run. So what I want, the first thing I want to talk about really quick today is about what, like, I'm going to focus mostly right now on what we call the transverse abdominis. Um, and when we think about that, we think of that as called the corset muscle, right? It's really um, one that we're going to think about. And I want to teach us how to, one, engage those muscles. So we want to learn how to turn them on and we want to learn to turn them off. Because most of the times when we're doing daily activities or even in the gym working out, um, our larger muscle groups are just going to take over that activity. Um, and if you don't know how to focus on proper muscles, um, sorry, I was trying to look at uh, what some of the people were saying on there. If you don't have um, proper, um, if you don't know how to really think about what muscles to activate and deactivate, your larger muscles are going to be taking over and there's a good chance that you're, you're not even going to be training the proper muscle group. And that goes for core, that goes for if you're um, trying to work on your uh, quads, your hamstrings, any of the muscles. So it's really important that we learn to listen to our body and that we can mentally, um, activation and deactivation is very much a mental thing. It's a neurological connection between your brain and your muscles. And it takes a little bit of time to learn those, that neurological connection, to get those firing. When I first really um, lo started learning about the core, it was really due because I had um, a lower back injury. And I had to learn how to properly um, protect those muscles. And I felt really kind of, for lack of better words, dumb when I first was in physical therapy learning how to activate and deactivate muscles because it took me a little while to learn. Oh, that's what that feels like. And most of the time, we just don't know what that feels like. So one of the things that I really want to talk about today first is just basic activation. Um, a lot of times when people think of the core, they're thinking of um, just sucking it in, right? This is not about sucking it in and holding it. This is about activating it and be able to activate it and still be able to carry on a conversation because most of the life told people, okay, activate your core, and this is their first response is, right? And then they're holding their breath and they're trying to hold their stomach in and that is not what I'm talking about. So the first thing that you wanna think about when, when engaging those muscles is whether you're sitting or you're standing, proper um, getting your shoulders back, think about lifting your head. Again, a lot of this is visual, your head lifting it straight up to the ceiling. So your body is, is as lean as long as it can be, right? And I like to, can you see me okay? Let me put this down just a little bit and I can step back. I like to even wrap my hands around right here, right? Because these are the muscles that we're going to work on activating. Um, I can even move to the side a little bit. So my shoulders are nice and tall, right? They're up and they're back. My head is to the ceiling. It's like pulling to the ceiling, right? And it's going to be a very small movement. But we want to think about where your belly button is, right? And we want to think about, I like to picture having a string or a fishing line, so to speak, connected to my belly button. And right back here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that. Did you see the, the movement of me activating that 
my TA muscles, it was very small, right? So here, and I pulled it back. And now it's activated. And so, and to start with, you might only be able to hold that activation for five to 10 seconds, right? But what you wanna do is you wanna start. So you're gonna activate it. So I'm here activating it, hold it for five to 10 seconds, then you're gonna release and you're gonna relax, right? And that's gonna be your first step because what you need to do is you need to learn, we all need to learn that neurological connection between our mind and our muscles so we can activate the proper muscles, correct? Um, some very basic um, muscle or uh, activities that you can do to um, just to start with, to really work on that core strength are some really basics. But if you don't have core strength, your balance is gonna be totally off, right? Your core and those muscles around that spinal cord is what's gonna keep you safe from balancing. Why do you need balancing? Well, it gets cold here in Indiana, it gets slippery, right? You might walk outside and you might catch a little piece of uh, ice on the ground, right? You slip, what, what do you need to activate? Your core muscles, right? For me, um, just getting up off the floor because I have such bad back issues, getting out of bed. If I think about it and I, and I remember it, okay, before I do this activity, before I bend over and pick something up, right? We're gonna activate our core. That's gonna protect all of those back muscles. So we really need to get in the habit of just in our daily life, activating them and holding it and then starting as opposed to most of us just go in robot mode and we bend over to pick up say even uh, a load of laundry right right we don't activate it and that's where the injuries come in and that's what we're really trying to prevent with this and then you take it to the gym right and so when you're in the gym instead of just reaching down and say if you're deadlifting or whatever you're just reaching down and picking it up no we want to first start stop and we want to activate right and then we want to go down and start the lift because we always want to think about protecting um, that whole region right so one of the things basic things you can do is just practice with your um, standing on one foot right pretty simple but before you do it you're going to activate right and then if you want to change your center of gravity my foot is up you just can't see it <laughs> if you want to change your center of gravity you just kind of start moving your arms around right that's gonna make it a little bit more challenging. If you have a BOSU ball or a balance board, those are great, a little bit more advanced ways that you can even start working on it. If you're uncomfortable at first, put a cheer here. It's not that big of a deal, you know what I mean? So whatever you're doing and make sure you're doing both sides, right? Um, um, uh, on the floor, some very basic, <laughs> I hope you can't hear my dog in the background. <laughs> She's starting to have a fit. But um, on the floor, um, I'm going to get down and show you just a couple things before we open it up to Q&A of some very basics. Because like I said, if we don't grab the concept of this very basic um, activating those muscles, we'll get down to do, say, sit-ups or uh, uh, leg lifts or something like that that we think we're um, really trying to use the proper muscles to get that six-pack ab that everybody wants. And we're not even using the proper muscles. Um, I teach one class and we do uh, leg lifts, say, right? Where we're laying flat on the ground and we're bringing our legs up to the ceiling and back down. And the next day someone comes up to me and she goes, oh man, my hip flexors are killing me. And I'm like, well, you probably weren't using the proper muscles, right? We were using our quads. She was probably most likely using her quads and our hip flexors to bring those legs flat straight up. But if you are aware of the proper muscles, then you know when a different muscle group is taking over, right? So two of my favorite ones, and I'm hoping that I can adjust the, um, the camera and get it down is um, a dead bug, which is a great muscle for activation. And then just basically um, bringing your foot, bringing your feet to what we call shelf position. If anybody's here that does yoga, you kind of know what shelf position. So what I typically will do with most of my clients is we will start out our session with straight up just activation. Before we even get into our workout, we want to get those muscles firing, right? So one of my favorites is just bringing those legs to shelf. So I'm gonna, um, I have a yoga mat here. I'm gonna switch this up and get it down a little bit so you can see it, okay? Can you guys see my yoga mat over here, Karen? Yes. Okay. 
Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna yell because I'm getting a little bit further away. Okay, so I got my yoga mat here, right? Um, on my back, I really want to think about before you start doing any moves, right? You think about that same activation that we just talked about standing up. We're pulling our belly button in. Arms are flat. You might have a slight um, uh, space in your lower back, and that's totally fine. Or you might go what's called imprint and you might flatten it completely. But we're just gonna go here and we're just gonna think about bringing our legs to that tabletop, right? And we're really focusing on using our core muscles to bring those legs up, right? And every time you put your feet back down, I want you to relax. That's turning it off. Now, we just turned it on. The second thing that one of my favorites is what's called a dead bug. The feet are gonna be in shelf, right? Your arms are gonna go straight up and down. And we're thinking about opposite arm and opposite leg doing the uh, doing uh, working, okay? So we're here and we're here. Now, do not feel that you have to get your legs all the way down to the ground, right? This might be too far for you. If you're here and this is all you can do and still control it with your um, abdominal muscles, then go to there, right? That, how far you go down with your legs does not matter. What matters is you're using the proper muscles. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna turn the chat on. I'm gonna get down here in front of my computer here. And I'm gonna turn the chat on. And also, um, <clears throat> oh, somebody says, as long as I didn't have dragons roaming around, I just have lots of animals. So. What questions do you guys have that I will attempt to answer for you? You can just unmute, it's fine. There's not, you know, anybody? Or comments, I, there's some trainers on here too with me. So please feel free to um, add your own input. Don't forget about hip mobility, coach. Yes, so that is gonna help with the hip mobility as well. It basically, it's for every area of your life. If you don't have good core stability, your daily activities is gonna suffer as well as your uh, exercise, any type of movement, right? What else, anybody other questions? Hi, um, good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> I just, I just want to ask if you're like a beginner, uh, beginner in, um, you know, strengthening your core, what should be the basic moves that we have to do in order to achieve that, you know, uh, try to start strengthening our core? What are the basic, uh, most relevant moves that we have to do? Well, the first thing, like I said, is you need to figure out what those muscles are. Um, because a lot of people will just dive into, say, doing sit-ups or crunches, um, thinking, all right, I'm, active, I'm working my core. But the biggest thing that I want to stress is learning, how, learning what those muscles feel like. Because, again, if we don't know what muscles feel like or what those muscles feel like to move, I should say, uh, most likely um, other muscles are just going to take over, right? So the biggest thing for beginners, I would always say is learn what they feel like, learn how to activate them and to deactivate them. And then I love the, um, the bringing the feet to the shelf. I love um, the dead bug for me is something that I always do with all of my, um, with all of my clients as well. Um, planking is also another great one. But again, if you're, not, um, if you're not holding proper form in the fact of bringing that core or the muscles and tightening them, and it's putting a lot of undue stress on your lower back, that's because you're not um, activating the right muscles. Right, Jay? Yes, ma'am. Um, she could also do vacuums. It doesn't involve any kind of motion. So you're playing on isometric contractions yes. just via that. That'll be a really good starting point, especially if a person um, has some lower back issues, maybe even some knee and hip issues with getting up and off the ground. So did you say vacuums? Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, I know everybody probably does them a little bit differently. Do you do a vacuum with a twist, Jay? Or do you do no, just an isometric hold? 
No, I do an isometric hold. So the instruction that I normally give athletes and clients is to take their belly button and try to push it into their spine. Yep. You can do that seated or you can do that standing. Yes. So it's kind of like what I was talking about in the very beginning of activating it. But with a stomach vacuum, you're probably extending that hold just a little bit longer. And let me tell you, like, I will do stomach vacuums, what he's talking about. So you really think about, again, um, having a string connected to that belly button and you're pulling it back, right? I can still have a conversation, but guess what? These muscles right here are already on fire because I'm activating them and I'm pulling them super tight, right? That is a great one to start with, right, Jay? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I mean like really on fire right now. <laughs> So we don't have to, it doesn't have to be as difficult as what we think about. It's all about proper uh, activating the correct muscles. And I can't stress that enough with any type of exercise that you're going to do. We always want to start with what muscle am I trying to train right now? And let me start, let me turn that muscle on and then do the movement if that makes sense. Right? So any other questions? I had something that I would like to add too. Please do, Jacqueline, yes. Okay, so when we're talking about strengthening our core, not only are we uh, focused on the muscles in the front, in the abdominals, but we wanna focus on strengthening the muscles in the lower back as well. Um, so like bird dogs, supermen, things like that. Yes, bird dogs are great. A lot of times I'll have, um, say a client do some dead bugs and then just flip right over and do the bird dogs as well, definitely. I love those. And the Superman is very good. Anybody else? We have a couple more minutes here, so. Heather, um, I love all of this about activating the muscles. I feel like I get that a little more easily, but I don't always get the breathing right. I need you guys to do something with breathing too, because, you know, I'll hold my breath while we're doing a hundred sit-ups and like at 25, I just remember to breathe and I'm dying. Okay. Um, and that might be a great, um, another, and I know that one is very difficult, like getting back to the basics of breathing and maybe that we could do another trainer Q and A or about that. Because for me, again, that was extremely difficult because I'm, I'm a very uh, chesty breather. Like I just get to hear, but to really fully get to where my breath is um, expanding my ribs is what you want. You want it to get down in here. So what I was, how I was kind of taught was as I will lay on my back, but when you think about a baby um, and we will, remember when we used to have our, ours were littler and I know you guys still have some little ones, but like, oh my gosh, it's my baby breathing, right? You looked at their stomach, right? To see if that stomach was rising and coming, coming down. Um, however, I feel like as we've got older, definitely for me, I lost that. And my breathing has become very shallow. So I had to really work on, yes, getting that breath work down and getting it down into those, those muscles, right? To where it's going out. And I think part of it for me, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest, is to really get that, what I was taught proper breath work, I have to make my stomach go out. And I didn't like that because as a woman, oh, there she is, I want to keep my, cool, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to look like that. But I think that's a very good, um, good question, Karen, and I think that's definitely something that we really should address because that proper breathing, because when you're breathing properly, it's already, it's gonna tighten all of those muscles, like Jacqueline said, not just the front, but it's gonna, in the back as well, especially when you get ready to go. If you're gonna move on and do like um, any type of lifting, it's super, super important to know breath work as well. And I think that's something that, um, yes, um, Amber's on here. She just has her thing. And uh, what she said was, um, a Kegel. Like those are really, really great um, to learn activation. And it's not just for a woman, it's for a man as well, like she said. But um, doing those for that activation of turning on and turning off as well. But it is all about learning your body. And when you can learn, um, your, be very in tune with your body. And I know um, I didn't really do that until I kind of got into some 
of the mind body exercises like Pilates and stuff, it really is important because then you can tell, oh, that didn't feel quite right because you're in tune with what your body is telling you. And it, in, it, in daily life and in, in any kind of exercise life as well, um, having that neurological connection between your mind and your body is super, super important. Then you'll realize one sit up in that, oh gosh, I'm holding my breath. I'm not, you know, not breathing properly, right? Anybody else before we have to hop off? And you know what, if there's any, um, like that Karen, if there's any topics that you guys want covered, feel free to drop um, either me or you can even drop it in like the comments below this event as well. We wanna cover as many topics as our members um, want to hear from us. This is something new that um, we're doing and we're just kind of feeling our way through. So we would love some feedback as far as, oh, I would really like to hear um, this talked about. I know Jay next week is going to have another Q and A and he's gonna talk about eating properly for exercise. Um, next Tuesday, Brian is gonna do one for our um, MyZone, um, for our MyZone people. And he's gonna talk about the MyZone belt and how to use it properly and get the maximum benefits out of it. And, um, and have an open up for Q and A too. Jacqueline's gonna do one on stretching. So whatever you guys want member wise, please let us know because we want to do what we can to meet you um, where you guys are at right now and when we get back in the building as well. And then a great way is just drop it in, you know, like I said, or message uh, somebody who's on staff. Okay? Thanks. Any other questions before we hop off guys? Okay. All right. Well, thanks for joining me guys. And this will be recorded. So it will um, actually go onto um, the website and everything. So if you have somebody who didn't get to see it right now, they can always watch the recording of it. And then also if they have any questions, if you, you know, if you're passing it off to a friend or whatever, just let them just say, Hey, contact them. They'll be happy to help you and answer any questions. Okay. All right, enjoy this Friday, guys, and get outside and enjoy the sun. I know it's a little bit cold, but it's definitely worth it. All right? Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.